Okay, here we have my little 22 Ace. I think I've shown this before. It's Ace 1. Um, doesn't have the original sight. This is the rifle I use for trapping. And I got bored one day and I decided I was going to fix the rear sight. So the rear sight on these is stamped out of a piece of flat metal. So what you end up with is it drives in the dovetail and it stands up in the center and then ahead of the sight you can see where the piece was was cut out but in order to stamp it what they do is they make a, a sight that's got a big deep v and it's really shitty you can't hit anything with it so i took it out and i welded the very carefully welded the v up and the way you do that you clamp it in a vise you put like a grinding wheel or something underneath of it and you weld it and then you file it and then you turn it over your file. And I had it perfect. I had a perfect blank. And uh, I was holding on to it with a pair of pliers and putting it on the wire wheel just to clean it up a bit. And that wire wheel caught it. And it's somewhere in my friggin' garage, but where it went, I have no idea. So I stuck this on there. And, uh, you know, when you're on the trap line, you, you stick the gun right on their head so you don't need the sight. But if I see a rabbit or something I want to shoot, I'd like to be able to hit it. Now I just took some shots with the Gula, or did it go right there, uh, subsonic, and at the lowest sighting, set sighting, sight setting, there we go, uh, it's way too high, so I'm just going to take a couple shots with this, thought somebody might want to, might like to see it, again, I know tripod today, gotta find that damn thing, so you're going to have to deal with the little hue down there, it's just, uh, it's the case in my phone. So, up next are the Winchester 22 shorts. I suspect these are going to hit high as well. Target's at about mm, 18, 20 meters. I'm going to put that down as far under that notch as I can. These are the shells they say to use for trapping, and they're a thousand and ninety-five feet per second. So me and all my wisdom figure, huh, oh shit, I couldn't I didn't know where they were at the time. I'll just take some subsonic, it's basically the same thing. Well, no, no, it's not. I got an extra hole I gotta sew up now in each one. I figured the lower velocity and heavier bullet of the subsonic would work out about the same amount of impact. No. A couple times a week I jump online. I'm trying to find just a 3 8 dovetail sight that I can put in there. Can't find one anywhere. There is one guy here in Canada. He used to carry a. He used to junk these. It was Marcus Paste, and I know they did a thing. There was two guys doing it. And now he only does shotguns, and the other guy only does the the rifle. So I can't remember what the other guy's name is, but I think I still got the other the Marcus Paste guy's email. I'll have to check him out. Let's go check out my dismal results. I suspect they're all over top. Oh look, I caught one. <laughs> anyway, so I guess I won't be shooting at any rabbits or anything time soon until I get a new sight. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Thought somebody might like to see that little rifle. She's an oldie but a goodie. Talk to you later.